Tonight, federal agents cracking open the doors to the illegal bio lab that was operating in the heart of Reedley. It's been over a year since this story made national headlines and several weeks since a congressional hearing took place. This morning, the Environmental Protection Agency began mopping up lab chemicals that were left behind inside that secret lab. Our Ben Morris joining us live outside the lab tonight with more on what exactly is still being cleaned out. Ben, good evening. Alex, on, we've learned the EPA will be here on site for roughly a week to clean up these chemicals found in things such as water bottles or laundry detergent containers. On Tuesday, the Federal Environmental Protection Agency began its cleanup of improperly stored chemicals found inside the illegal lab in the city of Reedley. For cleanup workers dealing with the mess, history is repeating itself. We have chemicals there in laundry detergent bottles, water bottles. Uh, we had a bleach container that we thought was bleach, and when we opened it, we realized it was some form of reagent instead. Reedley Code Enforcement Officer Jessalyn Harper first uncovered the violations that triggered the explosive investigation last December. The city expects the federal operation to take around a week. Their goal is to categorize the chemicals by their properties to know how to destroy them. They'll take them off-site and destroy those chemicals for us. City manager Nicole Zeba tells us the EPA will pick up the tab. That will save Reedley between $150,000 to $200,000. Harper says it feels good to get one step closer to the finish line. December 19th was our one year, and I texted my city manager and said, hey, happy anniversary, we're at one year, so we're looking forward to being done with this soon. And following the EPA's exit, the FDA and California's FDB will come in to destroy remaining COVID and pregnancy tests still on site, likely in February. This past week, the county gave final approval to implement its medical lab ordinance, which would allow county public health to review privately funded labs annually. Ziba says the ordinance would go a long way in preventing any more illegal lab activity. Not just to identify, because we always know there's going to be bad characters that maybe don't step up to get that permit, but on the back end, to be able to take care of an illicit lab will be a whole lot quicker if we run into them. As for the future of this building, code enforcement says they will make a determination whether it can be rehabbed or whether it will be whether it will need to be demolished. However, unsafe to occupy signs will remain outside, at least for now. Reporting live here in the city of Reedley, Ben Morris, KC24, local news that matters.